Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is part 11 of my makeup collection. Yes, that's right, part 11. The playlist with the other 10 parts will be listed down below in the description bar if you want to go and check those out. Um, I'm doing this draw by draw so that the videos aren't too horrendously long because I do have quite a bit of stuff. So if you want to see what is in this drawer, then keep on watching. This drawer is actually my foundation drawer. This actually has a lot less in it than it had a couple of months ago. I did actually go through and do a fairly massive de-stash of a whole bunch of uh, foundations. I um, swatched them all on my neck to see which ones I could work with and which ones I couldn't. Which meant I got rid of quite a few. If you watched my uh, empties for sort of November, um, you would have seen all of those. So let's just get into what is still in the box. So there is this liquid foundation from LOL. This is like a $2 foundation. This is like nothing majorly brilliant or anything, but it does the job. It's in very light. It's not the worst foundation in the world. I just need to use it. I have this Natio Fluid Makeup uh, in light. This one apparently matches me relatively well, but I haven't actually, I don't think I've ever actually used this one. I don't think I've ever actually worn it properly. But next to them, they, they kind of, this one looks a lot more yellow. I may find after wearing this for a couple more times that I realise that it's oxidising too much. That tends to be the first problem I have with most of them. This is the HD foundation from W7. This is just like a little sample one. Came out of a little sample kit. Um, I don't actually know what colour this is. This is just the one that comes in the sample kit. So, yeah. And clearly, I haven't used it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd know whether it works or not. Uh, this is the BB cream from Lacura. This is uh, in... I think it was in light can't actually see on here if it has a shade. Um, I did find that this did not work very well for me, so um, I was thinking I might just mix it with moisturiser, because uh, the colour is not great. The colour is, yeah, it didn't, it also didn't apply very well, but I'm going to give it a second chance, because it could have been the way that I applied it, that could have been the issue um, I always like to give them a couple of tries at least before I give up on them entirely. I have this one from Anoxy. You can't actually get this one anymore, but it's still fine. I don't rely on the SPF in these kinds of things, which is usually the first thing that goes. Um, as long as it still smells okay and doesn't do anything weird, then I don't worry about it. I use other SPFs. Um, for the sun protection. This one is in OC01 um, Fair and the colour apparently is okay from what I did with the testing thing so it's just another one I need to use. This is the designer brands 24 hour full coverage in uh, Classic Ivory. Another one I really just need to work through. I've yet to find my, perf find my perfect foundation, I have to admit. Um, this is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is, it says L2 on here, but this is actually two different ones. I think it's L2 and L1 mixed together. That's why there's this weird discoloration thing. It's just that it's stuck to the sides, not mixed. Um, I actually don't mind the True Blend foundation. Um, yeah, so again, just one I need to use up. This is from Mian Su Young. This came out of a Mimi box. Um, looks like it's separating a little bit. It doesn't actually have like a colour name or anything on it, but on my neck it doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, I haven't actually worn it, so I have no idea. Oh, my aim is to get my foundations under control in 2017. <laughs> this one has not actually been opened by me. I've taken the sticker off and that's it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Paulus in 110 Porcelain. Um, I 
think I tested the shade and that was like the only thing that I did. This is in normal to oily. I think my skin's changing though and I'm almost at dry to normal, which is a little annoying, but we'll see how that one goes. This is the LA Girls Perfecting Liquid Makeup in Ivory. Again, another one where the colour match seems to be fine, so it's still in my collection. I have the other type of Maybelline uh, Fit Me, which is the one for normal to dry skin in 115 Ivory. You can see that the porcelain one is a little bit, this is porcelain one, a little bit lighter but slightly yellow. This one's a little bit more pink. So we will see. We might have a situation where I basically mix the two of them together to get a, because my skin's almost neutral in tone, but it is slightly more pink. So I might find that I kind of need to mix them together, but we will see. I haven't actually worn either of them, so I have no idea. Uh, these two are the foundations out of my kit. Um, because I basically don't use my kit anymore. I don't even know why I'm keeping the boxes. Because they just take up extra space. Um, so I have 01 and 02. And they look really weird in the container. But they're still fine. Um, I'm actually 02 which is the more pink of the two. This one is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone. Um, it's actually not a bad foundation at all. Um, I didn't mind using it. It's light to medium coverage. Don't expect to cover lots of things with it. Um, you can see I've actually used quite a bit of this one. A lot more than I've used of this one, that's for sure. <laughs> um, they might be ones that go this year, though. Depending on how things go. Uh, this is the Olay Complete Touch of Foundation Fair. Um, this is basically moisturiser with foundation in it. That's all it's supposed to be. Um, it looks a tiny bit dark, but anyway. Apparently on my neck it looks fine. I have these two powder ones. This is the Alme Wake Up Mineral Powder Makeup in Naked. It's a touch, touch too dark. Just a tiny bit too dark. Um, but I, it's got sparkle in it. Wow. Um, I'm determined to get some of these things used up. So even if I just use it on the periphery of my face to actually, um, get it used up. And this is the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Foundation in Fair Light. I've been trying to use this thing up for so long as it was in project. Um, it just, mineral foundations last forever. Um, see there's not a whole lot in it. This is, this is one I'm determined to finish this year, uh, or next year. So you'll see this in projects. <laughs> so try to get rid of it. And the last thing in here are two RCMA palettes. I got these from Tamara J. Um, she had them in her kit. Her kit for her course was way better than the kit that we got. <laughs> so these are two um, basically foundation type palettes. So I have number 11 and number 10. These have... This one has porcelain and ivory and some other, th like you can see the porcelain and ivory, the other ones in the middle, that have obviously been used quite a bit more, um, but they can be used for a number of different uses. So that's that one, and the other one has basically not really been used at all. These are more warm skin tones in this one. Um, but they're good to have if you need to do that kind of thing. So that is everything that is in this drawer. This is going to be a much shorter video, unlike some of the other ones. <laughs> so if you want to see the rest of the collection, then be sure to check out the playlist that is going to be listed down below. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the little bell thing so that you get notifi notified when I release a new video. Um, YouTube is being a bit weird at the moment about these things. 
Leave me a thumbs up if you like videos that are about makeup and makeup collections. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.